Rise from your grave. Hey everybody, it's RC here, and welcome Quake fans to another episode of the Quake Grave. This is a series that's dedicated to downloading and playing old custom Quake maps, and watching me hopefully get through them. Uh, today we're going to be playing a map that was actually released this month, how, back in 1997, however many years ago that was, that 17 years ago? Wow. Does anybody feel old just saying that out loud? 17 years ago? Hmm. That, of course, is if my math is right. <laughs> Uh, this is Chapel Shogoth by Mark Laidlaw, and this was released on March 3rd of 1997, so, hey, let's play through it. Okay, we are immediately greeted... Oh, it looks like we popped out of a teleporter up there. We are immediately greeted by what looks to be a chapel with overturned pews. Ooh. Pretty spooky. Oh, we got our flying friends. Have I... am I yet to play a Quake map without these guys? They just... they just like to show up, don't they? That guy cannot seem to make his way in here, can he? Come on, who else wants some? You guys... you coming in? Come on in! Don't be shy. Come on, come on! Oh, oh, oh. Getting shots from both sides, both sides. They're flanking me! Wow, they're all over the place out there. Yikes. And they've got cover. Come on, drop these dudes. Oh my. I'm gonna die on the first dudes here. Okay, got him. Oh, you finally made it in. Now you're dead. And there's another dude. So There you are. You finally made it in. Jeez. These guys are waiting for an engraved invitation. Alright, well this is good. At least uh, I've got some ammo. Full health with uh, some to spare. Got some armor. I did end up getting some nails. But I do not see a nail gun yet. Hmm. Now is that a secret? Can that be a secret? I guess the real question is, can I actually... Oh, I can. No, it's not a secret. First thing I, w I was thinking was, hey, can I actually make up t or make my way up to it? Oh! I was not expecting that. The booby trap. Ah! Oh, I hate you! Oh! hate those things! And another booby trap. And another one of those guys! I don't even know what they're called. Gloopy slime things. Don't like them. And more of these guys. I think I accidentally hit that. That... I think we're okay right now. Okay. Not a ton of variety in enemies just yet. I, I feel like I, I've yet to play a Quake map where they don't throw a... Uh... Oh, I didn't mean to grab that health. No, oh well. We'll be okay. I feel like I haven't played a Quake map yet where they, you know, don't stick a, uh, a grunt at me immediately. How am I supposed to get up to that? Here was our switch that I hit. It said something about altar being raised or something. That just brings that thing back down there. Am I supposed to be able to make this jump? Because I can't! And I see another switch up there. Hmm. Do I get up there? Is 
it just me here? Like, what? What am I not? What am I not seeing? And I can't. I can't very well reach up there. I already tried to jump up there. I really hope that note didn't have anything important for me because I totally missed it. Hmm. When in doubt, backtrack a little bit. I think that's a, a, game, a general gaming rule, isn't it? When in doubt, go look around where you came from. Nothing. I don't see anything here. Oh, okay, so that's what that message said. Uh, there we go. The sh Shogoth call come down. Okay, now we're opening this. Oh, and another one of our friends here. Oh! Trying to bombard me? Trying to sneak up on me, huh? Okay, so I was right. It had to actually backtrack to get back to this lever thing. So the message I missed, I did catch something about the altar, but I didn't put two and two together because I'm not smart that that would be the altar. And it is dark in here. I can't see anything. Good. Kill that guy. So, uh, rules of cement, uh, symmetry here. There's going to be another one down here, right? Yep. Oh, now I'm down to a shock. Okay, good. was able to kill that thing. Only flying guys and slimes so far. The graveyard door has opened. Okay. Now I'm assuming the graveyard, because it seems like this map wants to kind of throw us around a bit. I'm assuming the graveyard's probably going to be back in the other room. Interesting, um, interesting idea to put switches, like, somewhat higher than where the player's standing. I don't know if that's a complete accident or what, but when you move up to that switch, it's not exactly at eye level. Which is totally fine. This one either. You know, it's up there. It, there is something satisfying about jumping at a switch and hitting it. I will say that. Okay, here's the graveyard. Definitely has some graves. And we're immediately great. Oh, crap. Oh, and a fiend. I hear him. Right? Yep, there you are. I knew I heard you, you jerk. I'm getting pretty good at dodging you dudes. Wow, another mega health, huh? Not really in need of it yet. Okay, we got some knights over here. Well, at least he's changing it up now with uh, some different enemies. That's cool. I heard something open. Oh. What is this, like some kind of puzzle or something? Hmm. Okay. Could have been a puzzle. I'm not quite sure. But it was definitely something that gave me a super nail gun. And I'm never not going to take a super nail gun. I mean, really. You'd have to be stupid to not take it. Okay, where am I supposed to go from here? I do like the interesting layout of the uh, graves and the caskets and stuff here, because it's like, oh, hey, by the way, uh, you got to climb up here to get nails. Then once you climb up here, you see, oh, there is something on top of that, some rockets. Which I guess you would have saw once you got up there to get the... Uh, shotgun shells and stuff like that. I'm calling it right here, though. Once this door opens, Shambler, anyone? Anyone want to take bets? Seems to be the way these old maps work. I have no problem with that. I, I like the Shambler dude. I, I like seeing him, even though he scares the crap out of me every single time. But, nothing behind that. Uh, however, uh, I have noticed a sort of, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, a pattern in uh, old map making where you're basically working your way to the end of the map to have a showdown with the Shambler. Which is cool because, I mean, back in the day he really was thought to be the ultimate enemy until people started doing mods and 
that kind of th that kind of thing. But ah, look at that! Found a little secret, and I am completely loaded on the nails. This is also an interesting thing to do here. Make me uh, run around the top here to get at all these uh, switches and whatnot. The graves. Oh, the messages are too quick. The graves. something. But it's cool to, like, uh, put up a little bit of. Uh... Oh, there's a ring of shadows there, too. Oh, and there's the grave. Okay, so that door opened right there. Hmm. I guess I'll grab it. I'd like to get those rockets, but I don't. I feel like I can't even. I wouldn't be able to jump to them. I'd have to get enough speed, and then. Yeah, there's no way. Ugh. Oh, no time like the present to grab the mega health. Oh, I really thought there were going to be zombies in here. Since it's a grave site. You would have saw me in a second anyway. Who are we kidding? Okay, hit the switch for the elevator again. And down we go. And more you guys. You know, we're really getting acquainted this this round here. Through this th through this map. We're all becoming really good friends, I think. Oop, I hear something jumping. Oh, you jerk. You're a jerk, too. Just like your pal there. You guys are a couple of jerks, you are. Oh, look at this area. This is pretty wild. I see an ogre across the way there. Hmm. Pretty, pretty crazy. No! I hate you! Go ahead, jump up here. Where'd you go? Where did he go? This can't be good. That thing is gonna come back and kill me somehow. There's the zombies. I probably don't need to run around and kill all of them, but why not? For good measure, right? You too, huh? Okay. Oop, that was not great. Not great with the pineapples, I'm not. Okay, there's the other ogre. Knocked him down. In search of more nails. There's a quad up there. Which, honestly, I probably should have grabbed while I was fighting the zombies, I suppose. But hey, what you gonna do? Ooh, the rocket launcher. I feel like it's not very often while I play these maps that I actually get a rocket launcher. Ah! Whoa, he jumped in midair. That's how you know you're dealing with some undead shit. When, <laughs> when you're fighting a demon and he gets thrown off. There's a the switch we needed. Listen to the zombies. They want you back. When a demon gets thrown off or jumps off and then he jumps in midair back at you. That's how you know. Okay. I'm gonna jump down here and grab these nails. Oop, bad jump. We'll go back for the quad. Whoa, who is that? More rockets. Thank you. I will take them. Did not open. Oh, another ogre. Two rockets ought to do the trick. Agamna. Okay, we'll grab this quad and then we'll go over to uh, 
kill some zombies, it sounds like. We have the quad. What did that do? I have no idea. But I'm going to end up wasting this quad, which sucks. The first time I saw it, I really, I really should have just uh, grabbed it immediately and then went after the enemies. Because really, what, what fun is having a quad if you're not killing dudes, right? And is that partly my fault? Yeah. Okay, so that ported me up there to get the rockets, so that's good to know. Okay, so... I guess now we're going to backtrack over to the other door? I said something about the zombies, but the, I figured the zombies would be in the graveyard. I guess not. Always keeping you guessing. That was a weird sound. Ugh. You can only fall once, Quake Guy. Oh, is this not it? I guess not. Okay. It did say something about the... Listen for the zombies or something like that. So what did, what did I miss exactly? I did not hear any zombies. And I hit that switch. Maybe I had to hit that switch and then... Do you think one of those... Maybe one of those doors... Where the, all the enemies were popping up. Maybe one of those opened and would take me to the next area? Guess we can find out. Let's find out. Let's go and do just that. Try to avoid the health. It's the other thing too that sucks about getting those mega healths is that by the time you figure out where you need to go in this level, the, the mega health is all weighed down back to 100, so that, that feels completely wasted too. I think the, the quad in my opinion, I'm no game designer or anything, but it almost should have been put like right here on one of these caskets. And by uh, putting it on the casket, I feel like you're enticing that player to just go grab it immediately and just tear up this whole area as the enemies show up. Ah! Okay, so I guess that door did open that. Hmm. I just feel like I would have never really known that. There's no real good... Oh, there he was. Come on, dude. Look at that. Killed a shambler losing no health. Am I getting better at this game? I think I might be. Though I guess that totally ruins my uh, prediction for the end of the level. I guess there still could be a Shambler, but... Am I really supposed to walk this? You guys have got to be kidding. <laughs> oh my god. These weird tightrope things. Okay. Having saved, after looking at this room, which totally petrifies me, uh, we're going to attempt to... Run on this thing! And we did it. Holy crap, knights and flying dudes. Shoot some rockets across. Look at that. Jibbed. Oh yeah. You gotta love that sound, right? Oh, and look at this. 
It's like it knew it wanted it, it wanted to greet me as I try to run across this ultra thin one. This one is e even thinner. Oh, it oh 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 oh. But now I still got to make it across. Oh, you're not gonna jump over here, fiend? Are you, are you, do you uh, can't make this little jump? Is that what you're telling me? Just die already. Fine. You want the nail gun? You got it, buddy. Actually, this is what we yeah, this is what we should be using. Yikes. My aim was any worse. Oh my god, okay, we're trying to go again. Whew. Okay, we didn't fall <laughs> at all, which is good. Cuz I really didn't want to fall. Oh, and now we're back here. Interesting. So, the blue key did what? I don't remember running into any locked doors. I guess we'll find out in a second here. Could it be the door at the end of the graveyard? Stay tuned. And it was not. Need the gold key for that one. So what door uses the blue key? Do we run into another locked door? I uh, don't remember seeing any other locked doors. Come on, Shogoth. This map is not only a quake map. It's like a it's like a portal puzzle map. Just trying to figure out where the hell you're supposed to go. It's a, it's an interesting design to make the player like jump all around to find out where they're supposed to go. Not normally something you see in a map, uh, at least in uh Modern games, anyway. Not necessarily bad. I mean, there's a there is a fun puzzle aspect to it. I mean, who who doesn't? Oh man, we how the hell do you get down there? I mean, who doesn't like a good puzzle now and then, right? Oh, there's another knight shooting stuff. Where was he at? Oh, I see you up there. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Well, it's fine because I have rockets rockets to spare, so I don't think you need to worry about it. But how the hell do we get down there? And what does the blue key do? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Searching for the spot with the blue key. Okay, we are back up here. Maybe it opens one of those things up there. Let's find out, shall we? Uh, sneak over. Oh, it opened. I don't know if that was Blue Key doing it, though. Armor. And the switch. Oh. Ooh. Well, only one point of health. No big whoop. Oh, okay, so here's the area where I was like, hey, how do we get down at the bottom there? That does not look pleasant, though. Oh, I guess all is well. Oh! Lay off me, dude! Okay, someone from up there shooting me. I don't like it. That's one thing I will say that I do not like about this map, is that it puts enemies up in the darkness. I 
cannot see where the hell that guy was at. And then earlier there was that other knight that was shooting at me, and I had no idea where he was at. Like, I mean, come on. Throw me a bone here, huh? Ugh. Last ditch effort to kill me. Okay, so at least now I have the gold key. I have a ton of health. So let's get to the last door. Or the seemingly last door. Hopefully, uh... I won't have to backtrack this time. No promises, though. See, I'm taking the elevators up. Grabbed a mega health. Mega health is waning down. Okay, here's the door here. Prepare to exit. Oh. Chapel Shogoth by Mark Laidlaw, 1997, which I announced at the beginning. Thanks be to ye that helped. Well, that's nice. wonder who those people are. Oh, and that's it. That's the end. Huh. Well, overall, I mean, I would say pretty cool map. And I'm very surprised at myself for finishing that in one try, not one death. Wow, that's, that's unheard of, isn't it? Uh, no secrets, so we didn't have to worry about that, which is strange, because uh, as big as that map was, and as much as you were going back and forth, he probably could have put in a couple of cool secrets. And the only kill I missed was that one spider dude who was like up in the darkness that I wasn't going to waste my time with, because I couldn't see where he was coming from. Or at least where his shots were coming from. But yeah, cool map, weird uh, backtracking mechanic, I think. Uh, not, not in a bad way. It's, it's kind of fun, like, once you know where to go, if you want to replay it and, you know, you're like, oh, now I go here, now I go here. That, like, that's, that's kind of cool. Like, to see how fast you can beat the map, I guess. But um, to someone like myself who played this for the first time just now, it's a little confusing. Uh, but overall, it was fun. I had fun with it. And uh, there are some really cool points about the map that I don't want to uh, discourage the, the people from playing it just from talking about the backtracking thing, because the... The well that opens up once you eventually hit the right switch, that's pretty cool. Um, the uh, fact that they have the part with the gravestones and the caskets, and you have to climb up the caskets to get up to the next area. And they, they kind of... Um, Mark kind of led you up uh, through that by, you know, putting the platforms there. So that that's smart design. That's definitely smart design. But the backtracking thing is the only thing that I wasn't a big fan of, because you saw, I got lost. But the, hey, I'm not the best Quaker. I mean... Maybe that's, you know, just my fault. Maybe I just totally got lost. But anyway, everybody, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on The Quake Grave.